Now let me tell you, these honey hot wings might be the first thing to go off of that game day platter. They're super simple, super delicious. They have this heat, they have the sweet. They got everything you need to make it perfect for game day. And let me show you how to get it done. Let's get into it. Now you know I'm coming in with the original Creo seasoning by Tony's. It has the perfect amount of spice, the perfect amount of salt, and it's got a little kick to it. It's delicious. And then I like to throw in this Kinders. It's salt, pepper, and garlic mix. And it has this perfect amount of salt, pepper, and garlic that you're gonna need to add that extra kick to your chicken wings. Give them a nice little spin. And then I notice that not all pieces are coated perfectly, so you're just gonna throw a little bit more on top. You're not gonna overdo it, just make sure each piece is coated just like this. Now we're gonna make our dredge. One cup of flour and a half a cup of cornstarch. That's what I like to do because it leaves that flour nice and fluffy and it gives you this perfect crisp. Now remember, we're gonna go back into that flour with the same seasonings that we put on that chicken. The Kinders mix, and then we're gonna use that Tony's Creole mix. I love checking it out and see how big the granules are before I throw it into anything. Mix it up, and you can tell it's nice and fluffy. All right, now we're gonna drop down those wings. I add about three or four wings to this flour mixture, and I wanna give it enough space so that these wings can breathe. Um, work in small batches because that's the best. You don't want to overcrowd it. Just take your time. Take your time, baby. Enjoy the process. Give them a nice little shake and tap them on the side. And it should look just like this. It should be perfectly coated with a light coat of cornstarch and flour mixture. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want extra clumps floating at the bottom of your oil and making it dirty. Look at that. And you know the flat is my favorite, right? All right, now bring your vegetable oil or your canola oil up to 365 degrees. You don't need it any hotter than that because you don't want the outside to cook before the inside gets done. Now set your timer as soon as all of those pieces gets in there for 13 minutes. No more, no less. They'll come out perfect every single time. Trust the process, you got this. Now use a slotted spoon and drain them off and put them right on the side on a wire rack. Now. To a skillet or a saucepan, add two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and then a squeeze a half of a lemon. That lemon just gives it that perfect acidity and zest that you're gonna need. Then you're gonna melt down that sugar and we're gonna add a little bit of honey. That honey leaves a perfect glaze on those chicken wings that everybody's gonna be wanting to get. Now look, I just added buffalo sauce, whatever you have. Frank's Red Hot, Habanero Buffalo Sauce. I just found this in the pantry and I used it and it was great. Drizzle that sauce all over the top after about three or four minutes of cooking and give those wings a nice little shake. They want all of that love from that sauce. And yes, you're gonna have a little bit of extra sauce on the bottom and that's fine. As soon as this batch is done, put them to the side and put your next batch in that sauce. You could even double the batch, but look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that seasoning, crisp, flavor. I'm telling you, they're gonna be coming for you. And make sure you like and subscribe because I have more things on this game day platter that we have to go over. We've got Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, mozzarella stick, the dressing, the, the ranch dip. It's all good, good baby. I'll see you next time.